Hey guys, today we're talking a little bit about sleep or the lack of sleep because if you're a parent and you have a kid that is still coming into your bed, it can be utterly exhausting. So here's what's going on. I have a four-year-old, soon to be five-year-old. He will be five in a couple of days. And my last baby, my third child, the light of my life, loves coming into bed with me and my husband. And he doesn't do this right away. So we all, you know, we get into bed, we go to sleep, we think we're safe, and then come around two o'clock in the morning, that little stinker gets into our bed and starts rolling all over us, karate kicking us, sumo wrestling us, like rolling on my face. Like I can't even tell you. It's almost like he's trying to do it on purpose. I lay there and I think to myself, it's humanly impossible for this kid to be beating me up this much in his sleep. Yet here we are. He is he's hurting me. Like I, I'm laying there and I'm going, I don't know what to do. Should I sit on the couch? But I can't sleep on the couch because he needs a barrier. He because he rolls around so much that if I move, I feel like he's gonna fall off my bed. So we're stuck in this little situation because um he's our last baby and um I love him dearly. He I, he is everything to me, of course, but I am a zombie. I am a walking zombie. Last night, I went to bed around 1230 because I was watching a movie, and by 2 o'clock, like I said, by 2 o'clock, he was already wrestling me, and he's not somebody that sleeps the normal human way. Like, you know how we sleep up and down on the bed? He likes to sleep sideways, so either I have his feet in my face or my husband has his feet in his face and he's kicking one of us. So, um, you know, sometimes Bill is kind enough and he takes the, the, the war all night and he lets me sleep. But that's not fair. We can't expect, I can't expect him to do that all the time. So we don't know what to do. I mean, he's five. Like, my goodness, like, when are we going to get out of this? Um, flip of the coin, though, I will say... He's my last child. So, you know, I'm sort of looking at this and I'm saying to myself, I'm never going to have a baby again in my bed. And this is not me going, he's my last child. But deep down inside, I'm going to, I know I'm going to get pregnant and I'm going to make this like shock announcement on Facebook. Meanwhile, all the while I knew I was going to get pregnant. I'm literally never going to have another baby again. So I am almost relishing in these moments going, okay, this stinks and I'm not sleeping, but I have a baby. And, and you know, this time when he's in high school and when he's in college and when he's out of the house and, and me and Bill are all alone and we have 40 years left to sleep all alone, will I miss these moments? And that's sort of where I go back and forth. You know, I don't know what to do with this. Do I correct it? And do I pick him up at 2.30 once he's back, at, back to sleep? And do I put him back in his bed? Or do I just embrace it for what it is knowing that these are my very last moments of toddler, young kid, motherhood because my other two are 10 and 12 so I know how fast it goes. Um, I'm, I'm just sort of like my body is saying please move away from this co-sleeping thing and my mind is saying please be in the moment in every waking moment that you are because time is fleeting. So I'm sure there's plenty of people out there in my situation. If you are, I would love to know how you're handling it. Um, I feel like we're going to have mixed answers, but I think overall, under underneath it all, I think we all understand that this is precious time spent and, you know, ugh, like even though it hurts us, Parenting isn't easy. I mean, whoever said it was, like, I don't know. But um, I think, I, you know, after talking this through with you guys online, I feel like the answer is just continue to let him sleep with us until he doesn't want to anymore because I have two kids that don't sleep with us anymore, you know? And, and, and I guess that's the story that I'm going to stick to. But leave a comment. Let me know what you guys do if you have a baby that um, – refuses to sleep in his bed. I don't know. But anyway, thanks for listening until until tomorrow.